Hey Rocco. How's it going? <laughs> okay, Rocco is the originator of this light show here, and if I get a close-up of this, it looks real, uh, you know. How do you do this, Rocco? It's actually, it's three projectors. Um, two are running on LEDs, and one is running on two laser diodes, a, re uh, a red diode and a green diode, and then that's projected through a kaleidoscope inside the machine that tumbles it with a little bit of a, with a small electric motor. And then these other ones are LEDs that are going up through a, um, crisp, uh, a plastic faceted lens. It's kind of in a globe, but it's uh, all done in, in faceted triangles. So when that's projected through, you get these small triangles and, and you add it all together and you can really give it a really great So this sense is of just a, like a, a juxtaposition of geometry. That's how you get yeah, the design. You don't several, have to program these designs. No, no. It's just, I'm just lining up different things and just like finding where the geometries match up and, and where it looks good. There you go, the explanation. This is going to replace the Big Bang Theory, actually, I think. Well, Nassim Harim's unified field theory replaces it, so he already beat me to it. Who? Who did? Nassim Harama Har Oh, Nassim, I've seen his videos. Yeah, yeah he's pretty his, good. His unified Well, field do you got that torus shape in there someplace? It's uh, sort of like goes in the center. Now, there's all kinds of great geometry that pops out of that if you give yeah. it time. You gotta let it work on your mind. You gotta kind of look around in different spots and find different places where you're gonna be at and where how your perspective shifts through it. Because the the entire courtyard is lit up to, to provide different visual experiences depending on how you're uh, what is looking that at it. Other figure that seemed like is the seat of life that uh, you know, circles within circles. Yeah, uh, he used fractal geometry. Yeah. Um, well, he used sacred geometry um, to match up his. Um, geometry for for the Planck constant, which are these little planks. It's like the smallest measure of matter. It's like the only actual baseline measurement that we have. A so, photon. No, it's yeah. even smaller than a photon. It's smaller than a photon? Yeah. If, this is if, news to me. If, that would, if like, okay, a plank would be a grain of sand and a photon would be the moon. Oh, That's yeah. how small a plank is. It's, it's an energy unit. Yeah, though. it's the it's smallest measure unit. of anything. And it's been, the vacuum is made out of. So he used sacred geometry because he realized that these little circles couldn't connect um, on the outside that they had to link in. So the, the flower of life matched up to his... Um, geometry with the planks when he did his pixelated holographic universe so basically he used planks to pixelate the outside of a proton and then that gave him a measurement of the inside of a of what was inside the proton and how many planks were inside the proton um, because ev before everybody's kind of looking at planks like as a square group they were doing the math as a square instead of doing the math in, in spheres so he began to do the exact same math that they were doing to measure these these, these different events proton mass all this stuff uh, but he gave it spheres instead and he realized that that matches up not only does it work for very small things like, for, for like big, protons yeah. Um, but it also works for black holes. It also works for the universe. So what he did was he found maps that could unify the two fields. You know, the, the, the strong and weak um, attractive forces, atomic forces that bind atoms together and gravity. So now we have a, a theory, a working mathematical theory that can work both gravity and the strong and weak attractive forces of matter. Yeah, but WikiLeaks says it's pseudoscience. No, it's not pseudoscience. Now, you look rather ghostly here in the twilight. Are you from Nibiru? No. I no? I don't think so. I'm from Moab, Utah. <laughs> Hey, thank you, Rocco. It's a nice effect. Uh, what's going on here? <laughs> no problem. Thank you. We got some worship going. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I, I, what is, is this a worship of some kind? I see red glasses. It's from Nibiru. Well, I'm not leaving. I'm just putting the food out there so I won't forget it. I would come and hug you. Could this magical moment not go unrecorded?
Try splitting the head with it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool, yeah. Yeah. Wow.